Hey, it's Robert here from robertcbrown.online. I hope you're having a terrific day wherever you are in the world today. Um, I just wanted to pop up and do a quick video really about coaching specifically and why perhaps right now you're not having this success with your coaching business that you would like to. And I'm just going to click a couple of buttons because I've got some notes on my screen because I don't want to miss anything. It's important stuff. There are too many people, too many coaches that I come into contact with every single day that are struggling in this business and they've got real value to offer. Great coaches, lovely people, could make a real difference to their clients and to the world and yet they either haven't got any clients or they haven't got enough clients to survive and with no real kind of idea of how to make that change and that I guess is one of the reasons why I exist in this space to help people just like that and hopefully um, during the course of this video if you resonate with any of the things that I'm going to mention then hopefully some of the stuff that I'm going to say will resonate and inspire you to do things a little bit differently or even think about them a little bit more differently than you have been and as a result get a different um, get a different results show up, end results show up in your life. So let's go for it. Why aren't you a successful coach right now? Well, you know what? This is not an exclusive problem that's reserved just for coaches or consultants. I see it all over the place with many, many business owners in all different industries um, across the spectrum. I mean, you, you, you just see the same thing. When it boils down to it, the reason why most of these business owners, whether they be coaches, consultants, or professional service providers, you name it, the reason why they're not having the success that they desire is pretty much it boils down to the same reason, which is what I'm going to come to in a second. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you what it is and how to fix it. Um, but you know what? When I get around to telling you what it is, when you see how simple a mistake it is, you're going to you're going to kick yourself. You're going to be really angry with yourself and there might be a part of you that feels a little bit embarrassed, um, guilty, ashamed, all of that stuff, um, which is understandable, but they're useless emotions, by the way. So put those to one side. They're not going to do you any good. There's no benefit in those feelings. Once you've had the initial reminder that you're getting something wrong, put it to one side and set about doing something right straight away. Okay, so before I go on to reveal what this is, I want to suggest that you're not too hard on yourself because you know what? You're a member of a very, very large club. There are so many people across the globe in all sorts of businesses that are making exactly the same mistake. And by the way, I myself was a member of this club for many years until I saw the error of my ways and decided to take a different course of action. And I'm really glad I did because kind of the minute I made that decision and took the different actions, uh, I got different results showing up, and you will too. So, enough of the big build-up. Are you ready for this? Here's the major reason why you are not successful as a coach right now. Ooh, here it comes. Drum roll, please. You ready? It's because... Are you listening? Come closer. Are you listening? Have you got a pen and paper? You don't want to miss this. Pen poised? Here it comes. It's because you don't promote enough. Shock, horror, simple. I told you. It's because you don't promote enough. I see so many people doing this all the time. They use avoidance tactics unknowingly most of the time, but they're taking actions that will take them away from the actions they don't want to take, which is all around promoting. It's all around speaking to people, placing ads, going to network meeting, meetings, getting your message out there. Here's a question for you. How many times have, in the past week, let's say, how many times have you spoken to people and shared your message? Prospects or potential JV partners? How many times have you done that? How many people have you shared 
your offer with or an offer with over the past seven days. You see, if you're going to be honest, I can probably guess that um, in most cases, it's not going to be very many people at all, uh, if any at all. And the, the thing is, it's no good hiding behind email. Email is there to embellish, to be as an add-on. But really what you need to do in business these days, and something that's even more effective these days than it's been for a lot of a lot of years because most people are moving online, is to really get direct and connect with people. Let them see your face whenever you can, even if, even if it's on Skype. Have conversations. Let them get the enthusiasm and the passion in your voice. Let them, let them get the vibe off, off your body language. But you should be setting a goal every week to share your message with at least 20 or 30 people. You should be trying to set at least 20 telephone calls a week to talk to people. You see, it's all about building momentum, not getting stuck behind a keyboard, tappity, 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 tap, feeling like you're busy but not doing anything really constructive in your business. Now, I know, I know you may not want to admit that that's you right now, but I think we both know it probably is, right? And if that's the case, if you can find the courage to just own up to that, be honest with yourself, accept responsibility for where you are and what you're not currently doing that you should be doing. And remember when you're not doing this, when you're not promoting, if you've got any real value to offer people, you're not just cheating yourself, you're cheating them. So you owe it to them to share your story, to share your offers, to share your value. That's what it's all about. That's what coaches do, right? That's why we're here. You see, these days, everybody's banging on about technology. Everybody's talking about funnels, capture pages, this, that, and the other. And they've all got their place. And I use all of it. But not at the expense of my direct outreach to other people. And that is the important lesson that I learned and that I hope you'll learn from this video. Now, I'm not going to waffle on about this, but if you resonate with this, if you feel on some level that what I'm saying is true for you, but you need some help to identify where you're tripping up and taking the skin off your knees, and you want help in moving forward, I have a free webinar training that is going to show you the six pillars that need to be present in your coaching business right now in order for you to be successful now and moving into the future, in order for you to build a future that you really, really want for yourself. Let me tell you, if those six pillars are not in place, you're going to struggle and the chances are you're not going to make it. At the very best, coaching for you will probably only ever be an expensive hobby. And I don't want that for you. And if you're watching this video still now at this point, I'm guessing you don't want that either. So that being the case, get yourself along to robertcbrown.online forward slash webinar. And I'll see you on that training. And I guarantee that we're going to shake up some beliefs you've got about yourself and your business. And we're going to send you out with some really good strategies and ideas for turning this around quick and stepping into your greatness. Because you can do that. And when you do that, you'll become an unstoppable force. So let me give you that website link again. It is robertcbrown.online forward slash webinar. You owe it to yourself to be there. You owe it to your future clients to be there and do everything that you can do to step into your greatness and then share it with the world. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's resonated with you. I hope it's given you food for thought. I hope it's prompted you to get yourself along to the webinar for more in-depth stuff on this. And I hope you stay in contact with me. I'm going to keep stepping up with stuff like this all the time because I really believe that coaching is a force for good in the world and that more people need to work with coaches and get the benefit of it. And if you stay in business and you thrive, those people will get a chance to step into their greatness 
as a result of being able to work with you and others like you. If you go out of business, that ain't going to happen. So do yourself a favor and do the world a favor. Get registered on the webinar and I'll see you there. Take care.